The Spider-Man No Way Home trailer has leaked online early, and man, heads must be rolling at both Sony and Marvel. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and man, I, I didn't want to have to see this on a low res. Someone sent me a link, and I was like, there's no way this is real. And then as I was watching this clip that's being spread all over the internet, I was like, this is totally real. Uh, so guys, look. I have seen it. I'll give you a little bit of my thoughts on it. I don't want to spoil everything because I, I think people should be able to see this in the theater. However, I'm warning you as well. This is everywhere, guys. Sony, how did this happen? How the hell did this happen? I'm, sh I'm in shock that something this high caliber was able to get out and then spread like wildfire. I mean, I can't imagine they're not going to be able to pinpoint who did it. Uh, but the fact that it's out there at all is just insane to me. Now, this isn't it. This is some fake trailer I found, and I just wanted to put a clip so it looks like we're watching a leaked trailer. Because, of course, I'm not going to provide you with a leaked trailer or a link to it. In fact, I hope Sony has pulled them all down. Sony, please, Marvel, are you are like away today on the weekend? Why aren't you shoving down these... It's all over the place. What the hell? It's insane to me that this got out there. Uh, this trailer was supposed to debut tomorrow at CinemaCon, which we were going to be and hope to report from, Sony presentation, uh, in Las Vegas. And I was looking forward to giving you guys a you know, report there, seeing it in all its glory, uh, because I was the rumors were they weren't going to show it to the public. However, it's looking like we're going to get it any day now. If it just leaked in this low resolution and it's all over the place, usually it's pretty immediate for them to say, all right, well, let's beat the hackers and just put it out there so we can get all the attention. Now, now that said, it doesn't matter how they release this trailer, it's still going to get all the attention because it's a low res crummy trailer and people are going to want to see it in all its glory. Uh, but as I warned you previously, it does not spoil everything. And I think that's very impressive. However, a lot of people must be nervous. A lot of people who didn't believe me in the beginning with my scoops must be a little nervous now thinking, well, I guess, yeah, he was telling the truth, huh? Uh, I was. And so happy to report that we'll get, uh, look, we're, it's definitely leaning in the direction we all hope it is. Uh, the trailer itself, if you want to watch it, I highly encourage you to go watch it for real. But for those of you who just can't resist, for those of you who like need to uh, have everything instantly, uh, you can go Google it. And so I, that's why I'm reporting on this. It's everywhere. Uh, and the trailer itself focuses on how uh, Peter Parker, Tom Holland's Peter Parker, opens up the multiverse. Why? Uh, and then does imply and show some cameos of some villains that will appear in the film. Now, I don't want to get into too many details about it. Let's leave some surprises for you guys to see in the trailer itself. However, I do want to comment on this thing, because I know a lot of you have been watching this. You can't resist yourselves. Sony, it's like, come on. It's all over Twitter and YouTube, and we don't know that it's fake or real. We're, we're dissecting it ourselves. you got to get out there quicker and pull these clips. Uh, but it seemingly is the thing I see... Benedict Cumberbatch, Peter, uh, uh, Tom Holland, rather, is Peter Parker having some engagements that I'm like, there's no way someone edited this. I mean, there's some really good fakes out there, but this one makes total sense. It looks like it. It's the trailer. Um, and I now have seen, seen it. <laughs> the only frustration I have, it's a clever idea. It's a clever idea and that the, the premise of this all opening is the fact that because they now know, the world knows that Spider-Man is Peter Parker, he goes and asks Doctor Strange to help him see if he can cast a spell so people don't, won't know that Spider-Man is Peter Parker. Okay, interesting. And Doctor Strange seemingly uh, is intrigued. Uh, Wong warns him not to. And Doctor Strange decides, you know what? We can whip that spell up. Let's see how it goes. Meanwhile, while they're whipping said spell up, Peter realizes, oh no, Aunt May, MJ, Ned, they're not going to know that I'm Spider-Man. And he realizes now, oh crap, what, what have I done? And then Doctor Strange is like, you can't change it now. What are you doing? You're going to mess up the spell. And apparently the spell gets messed up, prompting the multiverse to split open is what ends up happening. <laughs> That's kind of cheesy to me. It's kind of dumb. Like, what? Doctor Strange is this out of it that he doesn't think Maybe this is kind of dangerous. We shouldn't do it. And then even Peter's like still so dumb that he's like, wait, oh, I want everyone to forget about me. But except for these people, that part gets me a little frustrated. I, I'll be I got to always keep it 100 with you. I don't know about you guys. That said, you got to just sort of shrug it off. So I'm almost glad we got that out of the way. So we can be like, all right, there's not a good reason for any of this. They're just giving us a fun reason just so we can get to the good stuff, which is the fact that they're opening up the multiverse and we're clearly going to get a lot of these villains and heroes popping in, uh, et cetera, to make this happen. So uh, 
it's just it's fascinating that that's going to be the reason and the the plot device that gets us in there. Given everything that we have with Loki, WandaVision, I'm hoping it's an accident and then they sort of imply that there was more to it than just Peter changing his mind about a spell. Maybe this was an early cut of the trailer that leaked. Maybe we'll see something new tomorrow at CinemaCon. There's so much still in question. Uh, however, the end of this trailer, I will say there is one pretty cool moment at the end of the trailer, seemingly, where we do get one iconic Spidey villain, one that pretty much has confirmed he's in the movie because he's <laughs> stupid. Even Kevin Feige, he's like, go ask Alfred Molina. Uh, but we do get to see a de-aged Doc Ock at the end going, hello, Peter, to Tom Holland's Peter. And it's just like, well, wait, does that mean? I have so many questions. So at the end of the day, look, the trailer is going to blow people's minds. And I think even though we've, some of us have seen it leaked, I still can't wait to watch it in full HD, 4K, you know, on a screen and, and just be like, oh, my God, and get all the little things that maybe we missed in that low resolution version. Uh, it seems like we do get to see some other villains uh, teased in some of those clips. Uh, so overall, look. I'm a little worried about the reason, but I got to let go of it. Look, at the end of the day, I don't want to complain about everything. I'm so jazzed for this movie. Let's be fair. I'm so excited for this movie. I'm so excited about what this means for the universe, for MCU, the characters that are going to return, the adventure that we're going to see. I'm totally okay checking my brain off to be like, yeah, that's a really stupid reason. But whatever. Let's just go and do have fun with it. You know what I mean? I think certain people are going to get minutia and critic over, over critic it to death. But man, from what I can see... This looks pretty cool. It's going to be pretty fun, and it's confirming everything we thought. Now, I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed, though, by this trailer. One, because of that stupid reason. But two, they're not going to show you a lot. They, they obviously want to hold on things because, you know, they try to. Their teasers usually don't show a lot, and I applaud them for that. Gives us just enough of the things we know. Doesn't confirm the big guns, which, come on, we should save that for the movie theater. I don't think they should show us until the movie comes out. They're going to show that out in the, in the coming, you know, days after the opening weekend. They'll start teasing and showing you it. But I would love if they kept that going for the whole time. Uh, they really should. And I'm not even telling you the big guns are because if you don't know, you don't know. Uh, but I, for those of you uh, who saw it, I'm curious what you thought of the trailer because I'm sure a lot of you have been watching it. Uh, for those of you, uh, are, are you going to go look it now or do you like I'm not even going to go there? Uh, do you think Sony's going to drop it? Heck, they could drop it any minute now given that they just leaked it. However, this is such a big piece of content. There had to have been so many wheels in motion. I'm still uh, part of my report of doing this. I'm just I'm in shock that Sony and Marvel uh, had any way for this to get out the way it did. It's shocking to me. Legitimately shocking. That someone seemingly in post, this person whose name is all over it, I did make a note because I was like, damn, uh, who was the name? Uh, I'm trying to find my, uh, who? Uh, Wasula? Wasilla? Man, Wasilla's got to be real stressed right now. Wasilla's probably looking, I mean, someone could have hacked in and took it, who knows, but this Wasilla name is all over the thing. And uh, damn, I would not want to be Wasilla right now. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Poor Wasilla. Uh, thoughts and prayers. Uh, but I, anyway, there you go. The Spider-Man trailer is out. It's leaked. Uh, if you want to go check it out, I can't stop you. Uh, I would advise you wait. You got a little bit of a tease here. You can still get excited for it. Uh, however, you know, tamper those expectations because it's not going to show us what we want to see yet. And I, I'm okay with that. I think it's great. Uh, that said, we are going to be in Vegas all next week covering CinemaCon. Also live from Vegas. We got a crazy suite. I'm so excited to meet with all my friends. We're going to be streaming to you live, uh, living up Vegas style, reporting on the news, having fun. Next week is going to be insane. Live from Las Vegas at CinemaCon, Popcorn Planet, Jody's Corner, Nerd Report. We're all reporting together. We're all there. So make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for all alerts. We will absolutely be covering that trailer when it drops officially smash the like button we may get to see it before you guys although a lot of you now just got to see it so there you go uh stay tuned for more here on popcorn planet see you tomorrow in vegas baby vegas baby no way home is coming <laughs> <laughs>